All right, today's venture is a makeup air unit that is not producing heat. We're going into winter time and the cooks are cold in the morning because it's been getting down to the 30s. First thing I always kind of start with is belts and filters because these work off of a pressure differential switch. And if that differential is not there, it will not run. You have a high and low fire adjustment with a variable amplifier for the gas valve and it will modulate to match the temperature rise of your choosing along with some high limits and uh, flame rectification circuit there. So that's pretty much the basis of how this thing works. Uh, big things is pulley alignment, pulley wear, belts being loose. First thing I did is went through and found what the required static to cross the burner plate is. This one requires a 0.15 to 0.8 static between it. I haven't tightened the belt yet because I don't want to correct the problem and not know that I corrected the problem. I haven't checked temperature rise or any of that yet. Go ahead and leave that there. Filters aren't bad. Let's check our deferential first and see where we're at. And then we'll recheck it once we clean them. First thing we got is a Blimo valve here probably opening. Yep. So that's opening right now. We'll zero our meter out again. They tend to have issues when they go from warm to cold. Operational circuits call in there. We also have an airflow switch here on our readout along with flame, alarm, and whatever else is going on. This must have a VFD on it. That came up really slow. Airflow wise, we're 0.24 is our differential. We got 0.18 and 0.42 on our two different switches. Technically, it should be closing according to this. Airflow switch is not, but it may not be calling either. Need to go downstairs and see where they got things at. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is set to not run until it's at least 50 degrees out. So we're gonna turn this up because it's gotten a little warmer today. It is coming on right there at 60, 58, 60. So let's turn it a little higher so it'll run. Heard gas valve click. We are so very close down there to where it's gonna trip out at. We do have a flame established here. Airflow is established, operation controls there. So, so far we're not looking too bad. Our discharge air is set for about 55 degrees. We can crank that up. See if it changes anything. Not hearing the, the uh, fan change speed. I'm gonna go downstairs and see what kind of control they got down there. All right, we've got our return air sensor hooked up. Our supply air sensor's in the blower compartment area. Not a real great place for it to put it. I can't get into the actual supply. We could check flame rectification, DC voltmeter, see if it's actually picking anything up. I mean, it was saying that it had a flame, so it probably is, but might as well see where we're at on it. I've got 15.7 volts. They went between 12 and 18. So that's that's good. So we do have a flame. It's at very minimal right now, so that part's established. Now if we take our temperature rise here up to say 90 degrees, see if it starts changing at all. It's not. So do we have a problem with our amplifier or our valve? Kind of nice, it's got built-in gauges, got right around seven and a half inches coming in. It doesn't look like anything going out. We'll turn that back down. Let's go downstairs and see where they have it. They may have a remote system on it. Just got ready to take off and all of a sudden she just shot up to wherever it was at there. It might just be a slow learner. Let's see if we can hit 70 degrees. 70 is not too much to ask for. I like my fluke a little better. Yeah, we're 49 going in. shooting my 70 mark I was looking for. There it is coming back down. Down there basically it has a maximum air setting and it has a savings setting. So on the maximum air the speeds obviously increased a little bit. We're at a 0.34 to a 0.4 differential. 
the maximum it can go up to is 0.8 so that's with the filters out of it honestly i believe this is going to boil down to just plain maintenance as being an issue clean filters tight belts good pulleys aligned filters are back in down to a 0.20 Flame is on, it's shooting for a 55 degree area, which we're holding about 59. Outdoor temperature is 54, so it is actually running. Let's go ahead and take it back up to 65, see if it can do that. I did clean the flame sensor when I first got here. Couldn't get a good description of what was actually the problem, just felt a little cool, but that's what I was told. You can go over here and check their flame right there which it's all uv bleached out and can't see it if you cover your hand there you can see it it's it's running i'd like to see that airflow a little higher i think our issue is boiling down to that i think the switch wasn't shutting and allowing it to run if that was the case i'm also getting a lot of radiant heat that's one thing bad about where i've got my probe at so I would say it's probably accurate. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, turn that down, let her cool down. I'm gonna line that belt, tighten it up a little bit and then recheck it. You can hear the belt going making noises. That's why I think the alignment's off. But it really ain't. So, I mean, there's a little bit, not much. I mean, on the top pulley, we're pretty on bottom. Just a skosh. Tighten that up and see what happens. The motor starts to bend, you get too tight. Sixteenth of inch per foot. Well, that is about two foot, so that'd be an eighth of an inch. I think it's a little more than an eighth of an inch. Actually, I have a belt tension tool. It would be a lot easier, I think, but... We'll play by their rules. That's a lot better. We'll tighten up the lock nut here. Just the other side of the pulley too, or the other side of the... Actually better shape there. And we're in pretty decent shape there too. Okay, we're gonna tighten up that other side because we don't want tilt. I just like to wipe the grease zerk head off first and then you want to rotate your bearing as you add to it you don't want to over grease it you start seeing a lot come out and you've already over greased it so that and took a couple pumps probably hasn't been done for a while um you want to feel your pulleys see if the sheaves are war which this outside right one's wore like crazy. And see what's gonna happen with that being wore like that, you're gonna wear your new belt down. So I'm gonna tell them they need a new pulley. Here's a cool thing about Captive Air also. They've got all the specs that I needed right out here. Your uh, maximum pressure drop across the burner is right there. Your temperature rise, everything you need is right there. Rechecking our pressures here, we're at point three nine point four so not really a huge difference wow yeah that pulley's massively wrong yeah, you can see the belt jumping i'm just gonna have them replace both of them All right, so what we ended up having to do 
was adjust our pilot flame. It uh, wasn't always acting up, so that kind of made it a little difficult to find. And I ended up finding a room thermostat that it also monitors the room temperature not mounted where it should be at. So we corrected that. Right now I just cranked it up to 90 degrees and she's shooting right up there. Basically it was locking out prior to, but it didn't do it at first. And that was due to a weak flame. Uh, adjusted the pilot flame on the gas valve. And uh, once that was done, I had a good flame. No longer was it locking out. And uh, appears now that everything's taken care of. We're gonna order a new pulley, belts, uh, and uh, get belts for the other exhaust hoods while we're at it. And uh, that should wrap this one up. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Check the links out down below for more information. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.